All right, we have Michael on the line. Hi. Hello, Michael. Hello, yes. Hi, how are you hey, today, Michael? Michael? Good. Good. I'm going to go to the board because I understand you have a math question for me, right? Yes, I do. Okay. What grade are you in, Michael? Fifth. All right. And what's the question that's giving us difficulty? The question is called Jacob bought seven and one half pounds of meatball. All right. She decided to cook one and one fourth pounds and freeze the rest. One and one fourth pounds, okay. All right. And how many pounds did he freeze? Okay, so let's look what we got here. We know we're starting out with seven and a half pounds of meatballs, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and he cooks one and a four pounds, whatever's left, and that was kind of key word you said there, whatever's left gets frozen, right? Yes. Okay, what, when you hear what's left, what do you think about? What math function? Is that? I, well, I think it's subtraction. Exactly right, with subtraction. And what are we going to do? We're going to start out with the seven and a half pounds that we started with, and we're going to subtract how much was cooked, and we'll be left with how much was frozen, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so let me rewrite that over here, because we can't subtract that the way it's written. How, mm -mm -mm. how come? Because it has unlike denominators. You're exactly right. So we've got to find common denominators, all right? What would be a good common denominator for this? Uh, four. Right. That's what I always do. I always look at the bigger number, see if the smaller one goes into it. And so one and one fourth doesn't need to change, right? Nope. But we're going to change seven and a half to a mixed number with four in the denominator, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oop. All right. And uh, what, yeah. did we, uh, what did we do to that two to change it to a four? What did we multiply it by? You multiply it by two. And whatever we do, the denominator rule is we've got to do the same thing to the numerator, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so one times two is two. All right, now that we've got that much, we're all set. Now we can work with it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's the rule for subtracting fractions now that we have common denominator? The rule is first you subtract the fractions, then you subtract the whole number. Okay, good. Now let's talk about just subtracting the fraction. What's the rule for subtracting fractions when we have a common denominator? You only subtract the numerator. Very good. All right, so 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. And what's our denominator going to be? 1 fourth. 1 fourth, right. We keep that common denominator. Now, I heard you say after that, now we can subtract the whole numbers, and 7 minus 1 would be? 6. Very good. All right. So what does he have uh -huh. left? And because this was a word problem, we should label it, right? Uh -huh. All right. And so what he's left with is 6 and a quarter pounds of meatballs that he can freeze, right? Uh-huh. All right. This is making me hungry. I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Thanks for calling.